Okay guys, welcome back to Let's Play Half-Life Absolute Zero Part 3. Or actually, this was the intro I had originally planned and I'm not going to edit it out. It's late at night, I can't sleep, and I've been drinking. So you, go, you guys know what that means. That means it's time for Let's Play Half-Life Absolute Zero. And this is Part 3. If I recall, which it looks like I, I recall correctly, we are at Blast Pit with the giant beak monsters. I forget what they're called, if they're even called anything. And I remember I went through this one. No, I went through up top first. So we're gonna try and see if going down the other side is gonna make any difference this time. So we're gonna do that. I may turn the, the game audio up. Okay, they got him. Now the game audio is a little loud. Uh, I may turn it down again. So, all right, this is very similar, just more sparse, as is the case with a lot of what's going on in this uh, in this rendition of Half Life. So it just, you know, it looks like way less detail, way less interesting. You know what I mean? It's very sort of placeholder. I'm gonna save real quick. We're gonna try. Oh yeah, once I totally forgot about this stupid thing. Not a fan of that. So yeah, you can come out there if you want to. Oh, in fact, I may need to go there, actually, to get. So I'm gonna go down first, because that seems to be the hardest. Oh, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I tried to lean again. I've been playing way too many looking glass games recent recently. Always trying to lean. So this is different. So these aren't on yet, so I can I can walk in this water. Oh, and there's a health station here. Nice. Okay. I Ooh. Oh yeah. Once again, like I said before, that is a very rare thing in, in any Half-Life game. Uh yeah, this is a lot different. In fact it's so different I don't even know what to do necessarily. So we're gonna once again save, approach the ladder. One of the hardest things you can do in a half-life game is see, yeah. Get onto a ladder. Yeah, I got it. I'm gonna try crouching near it. See, isn't that ridiculous? You have to go through all that. I mean, it's interesting to see stuff like this, you know, the, the sort of prototypes of everything, but this is way less interesting than OG Blast Pit. Is this guy... No, he's totally dead. And what, are this supposed to be his guts hanging out? All right, so... And some nice classic Half-Life sound effects. All right, sounds good. No switches on this side. I think we got this part powered up. All right, so. I think this is gonna get real old real fast. All right, up, 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 up. Okay, oh, 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 okay. And there we go, here's our, wait a minute, are you serious? Well, what the? I suppose I should have tried it first. Well, then what's the ladder for? You know? Right, yeah, okay, I'm done here. I'm done, let's go. Okay, I guess you can't go back. That's what the ladder's for, because you can't. 
Oh, this game. There were some smart choices made when they uh, changed certain parts of this content. Yeah, and there's nothing over there, so All right, I'm done here, I guess. Got both things powered. Yeah, these are on now, so you can't touch the water. Okay, got stuck here. I'm gonna load. What's the last auto save? Elapsed time, 47. Okay, I'm gonna have to load the quick save again. So I know what to do this time. There we go. That's why the ladder's so hard to attach to, because you gotta take this. Um, yeah, this game, there's a lot of bugs in this build with uh, getting stuck in place. So I just had to have more, some more whiskey. Uh, hopefully that'll make me more animated, but I, I'm not making any promises. Okay, we're gonna go up here. I just have to look away from the screen for these bits. I mean, this is infuriating, actually. If you guys think I'm save scumming, I'm really not. I just, first of all, I know Half-Life, A, and B, I know that this game has some issues, shall we say. So, I'm just gonna do this again, and that's pretty classic. That's the uh, fuel and oxygen lines. Don't freeze me in place. All right, shit, 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 shit. This is deafening on my headphones. I'm gonna turn it down. There we go. That's reasonable. Yes, please. Return to your regularly scheduled programming. And see, they didn't put any grenades at this point either, so there's not much I can do. Now, I could... I'm gonna try something. I think I tried it last stream, but I... Last video, but I don't know. No. So you would think that the impact of the bullet over there, but it's coming from a silenced pistol, so they're not going to hear it necessarily coming out of the gun, but they'll hear it impact over there. But that's not how it works. So I'm going to go do fuel and air. What is the thing? The monster is radioactive. Okay, that's kind of cool. So they didn't change much about this other than the, the visuals and the size of the room and, and the interesting stuff around it, you know. I guess they didn't feel the need to... Uh, I'm going to save before all these switches now. I don't trust them anymore. Alright, fuel and air just like before. Or excuse me, O2. Access. So these appear to be death lasers. And it just appears to be a jumping puzzle. I'm going to turn it back up again so that you can hear the audio. Woo. Oh, that's what it is. It's for this turret. Well, I can deal with turrets if I have to. But I don't really want to. Okay, so both fuel and O2 go over there. So I imagine this is a little goody area. More cockroach genocide over here. Okay, I don't know what this is. Maybe this is to bypass some bullshit? I don't know. Uh, cue the Metal Gear Solid 3 uh, music. Ladder climbing music. Okay, so there's a little the smoker here. I was about to say, dude. What's your problem? How about this? Oh, I forgot how cool this damn MP5 sounds in this one. Oh, here's the giant fan. My favorite. So I'm 
I guess, I don't know. It's easier to get lost in this build because uh, there's more paths. But, just like OG Half-Life, th there's usually one per prescribed path. Okay, two to the head with this for some reason. This remains one of the most like difficult parts of the original game because there's it's it's really hard to can do this without dying. Okay. That's a bit better than the original game. That was a bit easier. And we're gonna do still one more ladder because they don't trust this build. Although look at the there we go. So that's pretty much the same as the original. Just a little different. And let me save real quick, right? And fuel and air, or fuel and O2 intake. Okay. I like the, these are very um, Independence Days, Area 51, these corridors, the sort of trapezoidal with the lights in the, the upper sides there. And this looks a bit like the actual one in the release. Let me see if there's any monsters down. Oh, damn it. Yeah, everything's coated with just a, a slight... What the hell is this for, then? I could have... I didn't have to do any of that. I could have gone straight down here. All right, whatever. I can see what... I, I think this was... Um, this was never the, the way the, the layout of this was never intended to be in the original game. Like why I could just hop over that. What was the point of doing? There weren't even any like health pickups or anything in there. Like what was the point of all of that? All right. Anyways, I'm out of here. Cause you can just, it's so easy. Okay. Let me save again. We're getting out of here. That was a huge waste of time. Wait. I'm just gonna verify that I did turn on both. I mean, I know I turned the. Just want to make sure they're both lit up. Yeah, okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. Access granted. Thank you. Access granted. So there's just one more thing we gotta go do. Now I'm glad in the original build they made the areas over there more well that one wasn't more complicated it wasn't it wasn't if i had just been smart and just gone straight for the the field but i would have explored it anyways that's the kind of game i am i would have gone the left direction anyways and then i would have been sorely disappointed so at least i had something to reward me at the end of all of that so it's still the same level of complexity largely uh but also there's a shortcut the other one was way simpler you just take an elevator down, you press the two buttons, you come back up. There weren't even any enemies in there, so that's kind of lame. But there's three now, so we'll see if that presents even more of a challenge. Man, these things are pissed. Yeah, I see it. Get away from me, bro. make a manual save here because I you know the AIs could possibly be bugged out with these things I don't know Missed the little uh, pop up notifications. Fuck, 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 shit, 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 fuck. Alright, at least I'm up here now. They're going ballistic now. Whoa, whoa. Is 
So getting off of ladders is tough going up. I'm having bourbon, if y'all are wondering. I used to really be into scotch, but it's not that I'm not anymore. It's just that if you want good scotch, you gotta pay a pretty penny. If you want good bourbon, you can find stuff that is actually pretty reasonably priced. And also, I just like the sort of general flavor profile of bourbon better. But I still like sc scotch is excellent. Okay, I'm going to make another thing, and we're gonna we're gonna give it a try again. Dudes, what the hell? Fuck you then. I'm just going for it. Fuck you. Fuck you. you stu oh, you stupid monsters, get away from me. Leave me alone. Fuck, I'm so fucked. Ah! Okay, alright. But I'm just gonna make a run for it, because I think I can beat them. If I just move fast enough. This stupid ladder. Fuck me up. Alright, sweet. Fuck out of there. Okay. Fuck you, monsters. But, I mean, I should be able to press the switch, right? Okay, yeah, I can. So I guess I didn't need to go up in that secret door. Okay, so they do put the fire uh, little emblem up, but they didn't put a radiation one up earlier. So it's a lot easier in this build. A lot easier. Okay. I'm gonna turn the volume. That's what I'm saying. Like the volume's like a little too loud. Um. Now what was up there? I wonder. You know, I I don't really care. Well, okay. For the sake of exploration, because it's a brand new version we're gonna go check it out okay i made a quick save it's not the end of the world let's just go so what we're gonna do we're gonna go back out here yeah see it's so much shorter and easier in this build like you know there's just less uh less stuff in it Less density, you know, it's just really oh, there's a yeah, there's a charging station. Okay, well that's pretty nice. And I s well, I don't wanna I'm gonna see what's up here just in case. Oh, so I think perhaps you might have had to use this to open a door at some point. Oh, maybe it's the door down there. Yeah, it could be that. I don't know. Yeah, that was very, I gotta say, this one, this one was very lame compared to the, uh, the one in the actual build of the game. I do like that, that's pretty cool, that, like, uh, radioactive waste there, it's just chilling. You get closer to it, and it's like, oh my god, oh, so, okay, the radiation thing is there, you just have to get hurt by it. Oh, that's cool, it, it's much like bleeding or something, antitoxin, okay, so you need... Oh, that's cool. Like I said, very system shock. You have to have like the right sort of... Uh, uh, remedy for all these sort of environmental effects. Yeah, I like this. This is pretty cool. I've always loved the sort of radioactive glowing effects of everything in Half-Life and the sound effects and everything. It's just, it's one of the cooler aspects of the, of the game that just sells it for me. 
which you know half-life 2 is sort of lacking in that's one of the reasons i'm not as big of a half-life 2 fan i mean yeah you had radiation shit, but it didn't glow like this like there's just something classic about this Come on out, buddy. Huh? Oh. Which is funny, because I believe in the actual build of the game, it's a 357. This is totally different. Cue, cue. And boom. And boom. Oh, yeah. This is just uh, so satisfying. Come on, let me in there. I want in there. Just, I can get it. Okay, and this is a good combo. Oh, this is like... This isn't even half life. This is fucking Quake. Look at this. This is so Quake. Yeah. This is quite ominous. I'm terrified what's going to come out next. Sort of kind of want to go down here first. Let's see. Maybe this one seems to. Yeah, this is a lower elevation. Yeah, I guess I'm trapped down here forever now. Really? That's a bit of an oversight. Okay, that's just uh, a word. Yeah, it's just part of the rules, I guess. Don't go down there. Don't go down here either. All right, I'm going to open up this door first to see what's here. Absolutely nothing. I guess that's fantastic. Um, I'm just gonna do one more experiment and go down here. Yeah, this seriously, it's just trap you here forever. There's no way out. That's kind of weird. So what you gotta do is go in here. I'm guessing. And this is well, a little bit like the pipes. I like it the sort of waste processing in the other one. This is something else, man. This is definitely something else. What the... F Where did that sound come in? Oh my god. Dude. It doesn't stop. What the... F that genuinely scared me. I had no idea where that was coming. And there's an Okay, all right. Uh, how about this? Yeah, it's trapped me there. Okay. There's some collision issues with this game. All right, okay, all right. I'm okay now. Oh. That's just awkward. Pretty sure that's not how that's supposed to go.
If anyone's wondering, yeah, there's a current pushing me that way. Okay, I'm gonna... I don't know what the fuck's going on there. Okay, so we're gonna try this again. Oh, fantastic. That's so fantastic. Oh, lost even more health. Now, where are those damn things? There we go. Hold on, just a sec. So, I don't know what the fuck is going on here. I'm gonna get back in the water. Okay. Back at this gate. Alright, so what the hell does this thing do? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Don't think this part is ready to be completed. To be honest, I don't know what the hell. I'm guessing it's supposed to open that, but it's not working. It's just not working. Now it looks like an HEV charger. I mean, we're going to try and get over to it and see. I'm guessing that was supposed to open the gate there. So yeah, I think that's where we're supposed to go. So I just did no clip there because uh, clearly that gate wasn't working. Okay, let's try this. This is where it wants us to go. Hum, interesting.
So we're gonna try that again. Maybe the trigger broke for some reason. Don't know why. Maybe because that door didn't open or something, and it's like the door has to be open for the trigger for loading the next level will work. Yeah, so apparently this isn't working. Um, this may have to be the end of the stream, guys, or excuse me, the Let's Play, guys. I I'm sorry. As you can see, as soon as I go past the trigger, this happens, and I, I just don't know what's going on, so... Alright guys, I'm sorry about that, but that's all we got for today. I'll see if I can fix it later, but that's all I'm going to be doing on it right now.